Hi guys, so I'm going to be showing you, um, I'm going to demonstrate how to do Beth Helter's accordion sewn half square triangle method. And I'm going to be showing you how to do this with um, making option B, which is uh, I'm doing the mini, the top for the mini, or I'm doing the front of the pillow. So you do the same thing for the top to create the mini and the pillow when you're starting out. So you're going to do the exact same thing that I'm showing you in this tutorial with your 10 inch squares if you're making option A of the quilt. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I already have my stack of squares in the order that I want them in. And for this pattern, it really doesn't matter uh, what order you make your half square triangles in. And in fact, if you make it completely scrappy and random, I'm sure it would look better good, just as good as the color layout that I've provided in the pattern. So whatever floats your boat, if you want to do the exact layout that I have in the pattern, that's great. And if you just want to go for it and just have a random stack of squares to work with, that's easy and it'll go a lot quicker. You won't have much planning to do. So whenever we start out, I have my first square, my three inch square in my half square triangle sequence. And I have my second one over here. So I'm going to take my first one and I'm going to place it right side up on my workspace. And then I'm going to take my second three inch square and I'm going to place it on top of my other three inch square, right sides together. And I'm going to line up my raw edges and I'm going to pin that in place. So I'm just going to use a couple of pins and, you know, whenever I get going, I probably won't pin these at all just for the sake of time. Um, so if that's what you want to do too, that's totally fine. Um, and I ignore my little cheater piece of fabric. I always start out um, with a little starting piece of fabric to make things go a little bit faster. But so what I'm doing now is I'm placing my fabric under my sewing foot and I'm sewing a seam one quarter of an inch to the right of this diagonal line that I've drawn on my fabric. So whenever we're doing this, um, you always wanna be sewing to the right of your diagonal line that you've drawn. And that just helps keep things consistent and so you don't have any mistakes later on. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew a quarter inch seam. I'm gonna take my pins out as I approach them. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim off my little cheater fabric that I have over here because I don't like that hanging on. Okay, so now what we're left with, we've made our first half square triangle unit. And so our half square triangle is everything that's over here to the right of our seam that we just sewed. So if you open it up, oh wow, that's awesome, right? Okay, so remember our teal square is the, the first one in our sequence. That's what we started with. So what we're going to do now to make our second combination of half square triangles is everything that we just sewed together, we're going to pull this to the left so that all we have on the right is a single layer of fabric. Do you see this purple piece of fabric? There's nothing under it, um, you know, to the, to the right of this diagonal line that we've drawn. So we're just going to lightly finger press this seam to kind of keep that stuff out of the way. And now we're ready to take our third three inch square in our half square triangle sequence and we're going to just repeat the process over and over again. So we're going to line up the raw edges of your second and third squares, place them right sides together and then drop a couple of pins in there so they don't shift on you. Okay and just you know give it another little press. Make sure that whenever you're about to start sewing, just feel with your fingers. You'll be able to feel if there's more than two layers of fabric, these two over here. And uh, you may need to just slightly readjust. So if you pull this over, you can see everything is over here. We're good to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sew another seam, a quarter of an inch to the right of this diagonal, okay? little piece of starter fabric again and get it going. So now we've got two completed half square triangles. 
We're not gonna worry about that too much right now. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that we only have one layer of fabric again over here on the right. And we're gonna finger press everything over here to the left. So see how cool that looks? And now we're getting started. So we're ready to really get going. So now we're gonna take our fourth square and we're gonna place it right sides together with our third square in the sequence. Throw a couple pins in there again. And remember, you're just repeating everything that we've already done up to this point. And so a good way, go ahead and double check, make sure that none of your fabric is pooched out over here. Everything is nice and finger pressed and laying flat. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew another seam a quarter of an inch to the right of this diagonal line. And so basically what this is doing, every time it's creating a unique set of half square triangles. So if we flip this over and look, We've got three half square triangle units already. So here's one. Then if you open up the next one, here's another one. And then here's another unique um, half square triangle. So it's a really cool way. I know there's like the magic eight and you can do four at a time, two at a time, but this is a cool way to make your half square triangles and make them scrappy so that you don't have the same, the same combinations throughout. And you're more than welcome to use any of those methods. If they're quicker, faster, or you just prefer them, that's totally fine. Um, but I really love Beth's method. Um, it's really awesome. I wish I, I wish I had seen this years ago. So now we're taking our next square. And remember, we finger press everything over here, double check, make sure there's only these two layers of fabric that we're sewing through and we're sewing another quarter inch seam to the right of this diagonal line. Boom. Okay, and then you just keep doing this over and over again until you've sewn through your entire little stack over here. And in this case, um, I'm not going to be completing the little loop that if you read through or watch Beth's tutorial that she does on YouTube that I gave you in the pattern, um, she actually sews the last two triangles. So like pretend this is our completed whole stack of squares. She actually takes these and pushes these guys out of the way and then sews another seam right here and then uh, trims them away like that. So... Uh, I'll show you how to trim them in, in the next video. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to separate all of your half square triangle units um, that we just sewed using Beth Helter's accordion uh, sewn half square triangle method. And you can see I went ahead and finished my tube. The reason I told you in the previous video that you didn't need to finish the tube and sew the last two pieces together was because we only need 33 half square triangle units and um, when you sew the tube, it creates 34. Uh, so you can choose to sew, complete the tube or not complete the tube. Either way, uh, you'll end up with two little triangles or an extra half square triangle block. So I'm gonna show you how to cut these apart and you can see how cool this looks. I almost wanna wear it as like a necklace or a bracelet or something, it's pretty awesome. Um, so we're going to take our scissors, not a rotary cutter to do this. And the reason we're not using a rotary cutter is because it's easy to get uh, fabric that's not supposed to be cut underneath a piece that you're cutting. And so with scissors, it's a little bit easier to kind of feel and make sure that you're not cutting the wrong thing. So we have our tube and what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of hold this open with my hands. You can see I have that, the pink fabric is the one that I'm gonna be cutting that I have spread apart. And you can see I don't have any fabric on either side of it uh, that's like folded over where my pinky fingers are. And so while this is apart and I'm making sure that I'm keeping the fabric spread apart so that my scissors don't come into contact with it, I'm gonna place my scissor blade um, between my fingers underneath the fabric and I'm gonna cut directly on that diagonal line that I drew very carefully. 
And it doesn't hurt to double check and make sure you're only cutting through that one layer of fabric. It's very, very important that you're only cutting through one layer of fabric every time, okay? So now that our tube is separated, how cool does that look? Um, you can see that I don't have the same fabric next to each other throughout this whole thing. So that means each one of my half square triangle blocks is gonna be made of two different fabrics. And uh, you just wanna make sure whenever you are piecing them together, if you do the random uh, putting, putting them together, random combinations, just make sure that you're not uh, combining the same color several times because then you're gonna end up with a half square triangle that looks like a solid piece of fabric if you're not paying attention. So just be careful with that. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start separating all of these. And so I'm going to flip it over like this, my big long piece of accordion. And you're going to basically do the same thing that we did with the pink fabric that we cut. Um, so you're going to be cutting on the diagonal line each time and you're going to be making sure that you're not cutting multiple layers of fabric. And you can cut from either, you can cut from the wrong side or the right side. I generally like to cut from the right side just to make sure that I feel like it's easier to double check that you're not cutting through two layers if you cut it from the right side. Either one works, just uh, make sure that you're paying attention and not cutting through two layers of fabric. You do not want to cut through two layers of fabric. So uh, go ahead and cut on the diagonal line again. And I'm making sure that I'm kind of pulling my, my seam allowance from the other one out of the way while I cut because I don't want that to get in the way. 